Hi there, welcome back. As we know, every man needs a war room. This is part of my war room. We've got things for survival, bushcraft, all sorts of hobbies, all in boxes, all labelled on a series of racks in this room. It allows me to find things very easily and it also allows me to prepare for a possible future. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now one of those possible future preparations is pretty mundane and it's more or less a day-to-day -day thing and that is power. So in here I've got a series of batteries, cables, little solar panels, chargers, all that sort of thing in a convenient box. Now I made the mistake of putting a lot of batteries in here, mostly AA batteries and AAA batteries because they're the ones we would use in the house for small appliances. Unfortunately some of them had been partially used so I just chucked them in little Tupperware boxes. I didn't realise that they would corrode if they were touching each other and as soon as one touches another one they just develop all sorts of like green crusty muck on them. They were no good at all and I didn't want to put those inside appliances in the house or like TV controllers or something like that because it would knacker them. Luckily there is a solution to storing small batteries. So a few days ago I got this lad off Amazon. This is the Kiwi Photos battery storage box and you'll see why this one stores the batteries so much better than just chucking them in a in a little tube or something you know. Let's take a look. Right the dimensions of this box are approximately 7 inches or 18 centimeters by 5 inches that's including the clasp and the hinge. Uh, so 5 inches is just short of 13 centimetres. And the depth of it is just under 3 inches or 7 centimetres. Now this is a waterproof box as well, so if it gets wet, the water won't get inside of here. It's got a rubber seal going all the way around. And that is all of my AA and AAA batteries. As you can see, there's space for another four there and added to that we've got some CR2032 batteries again they're all kept separate obviously there's room for a few more so we can get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of those in there and the CR2032s are something that you would use in small key fobs uh, watches, that sort of thing. Now obviously none of these batteries come with the box. I've had to buy all of these batteries to put in here, including the little lads inside of here. But you do get the case and you also get this thing, which is a battery tester. So we'll just take one of our AAA batteries, drop it in, three lights on, that means that is fully charged. Stick one of the bigger ones in, again fully charged. That's a nice touch adding that. There you go. What do you reckon of that? So there you have it. That is a perfect way to store batteries. You can get a nation of them in there as well. There's space for 30 AA batteries, 18 AAA batteries, 10 CR2032 or similar sort of size batteries and also you've got the battery tester as well. That is a really comprehensive kit. Every household could utilise this particular thing. I'm sure you'll identify with me that batteries just get chucked in drawers you never know which one's charged and which one isn't and this just solves all your problems. Everything's in one place, keeps them nice and neat, tidy, dry and secure. You know, if they're good for 10 years or something, say it says on the, on the packet, 
good for another 10 to 12 years they will be good for another 10 to 12 years in here whereas if like me previously you just chuck them in the bottom of a drawer or in a little Tupperware box they could be knackered in a few months as we all know check this out in the video description and I'll see you next time thanks for watching